hey guys welcome to guns in it today i'm showing you guys how to make this poncho requested by one of my subscribers she actually contributed to that data she sent me some money and she's like please make for me that poncho so i'm showing you guys today how to make this now if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and let's grow together yes so please subscribe give the video a like and leave a comment for me down below okay let's get into it we are casting on 85 this is 85 yes 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 by 85 needles pulling out needles one by one such that i can cast on with the iraq method okay, so i'm fixing um this to my first needle and then i cast on with the Iraq method. Now guys, please do subscribe if you are interested in learning a lot about machine knitting. If you're interested in learning about different machine knitting techniques, different patterns, um, how to make different pieces of clothing, well, this is the channel for you. So please do subscribe and also leave a comment down below for me. Put this into the carriage and then we are going to work in tension 8 so on your tension dial put your tension dial in 8 so I'm into my first row I'm going to pull out all the needles into the working position because we are going to be using all our needles to knit the poncho Okay. So I'm going to start with 30 rows of red. So that's 30 rows of the red and then next I'm going to do 30 rows of black to knit 30 rows. So I'm done with the um, 30 rows of black. So next I'm going to be using white and I'm going to do 30 rows of white. And that's uh, 30 rows of the white. Next we are going to need 110 rows of the red. And in total will have you said 200 rows in total okay so i'm adding 110 rows of the red to make it 200 rows so if you're knitting with a single color then just cast on your color and knit 200 rows and then after our 200 rows we are going to be shaping the neck so now i'm knitting 110 rows plus the 90 knitted so far that will lead me to 200 rows So I finished the 200 rows. Um, after the 200 rows, we are going to cast off 22 needles. So that is us starting to shape the neck. And we are starting off by casting off 22 needles. So I'm on the right hand side. That's where I'm casting off these needles from. My carriage at the right, and then I'm also casting off at the same right side. And in total, I'm going to put off 22 needles for a start. So I'm done casting on the 22 rows. When you're casting off, make sure you cast off loosely. Don't know if you guys can see clearly. Here I made it a bit tight, which is not good because 
we'll have to fix we'll, to fix this work back on the machine here yeah? so make sure you cast off loosely and that has left me at we had 85 to 65 that's um 20 rows and then plus two okay so i'm left with 63 needles on this side however we are not casting one on the opposite side yeah so i'm going to continue with shaping the neck so we are going to knit two transfer to knit two transfer two times ten so i'm going to knit two rows that's one that's two and then i transfer two needles to the next two needles yeah okay that's why i'm using the tools yeah let me show you guys again so i need one and two and then i transfer i pick the two needles with the two needle picker and then i transfer them to the next two needles okay that's what i'm doing and of course you have to make sure the ones you remove work from are pushed back to the non-working position okay then you need two again pick two the, the last two needles push them back to the non-working position and then transfer the work to the next two so we're doing this ten times So I'm done with doing that 10 times. That has taken me to about 43 because then I've cast off 20 needles still, yeah? So we are done shaping our neck. Um, next we are going to need 60 rows which will lead to a total of 280 rows, yeah? So if you're knitting with plain color, just need another 60 rows and cast off for me. I'm going to divide them into two parts. So I'm going to do 30 rows of the white and then I also do 30 rows of the red again, yeah? So that's 30 rows of the white and then I'm going to do 30 rows of the red. So I'm done with the uh, 30 rows of the red and in total we have knit 280 rows. So now that I'm done with my 280 rows, I'm just going to put my row counter in tension 10 and then knit my two rows for casting off. That's one and two. So guys, this is what we have created. Um, this is our neck shaping. So now we have to make a second part the same way we made this, but it changes at the neck area. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the first um, parts chop chop until I get to 200 rows where we cast off for the neck. And then I'll be showing you guys how to go about it here. Yeah? yeah, so guys, I'm done casting one. Um, remember, we started off with um, 30 rows of red, yeah? So let me do 30 rows of red. I'm done with the 30 rows of red. Next is 30 rows of black. After 30 rows of black, we did 30 rows of white. After the 30 rows of white, we did 110 rows of the red, which will lead us to the 200 rows where we'll have to shape the neck. All right, guys, so I'm done with the 200 rows, and now it's time to shape the neck. Now, for my previous, for the previous part that we first made, we shaped the neck on our right hand side, yeah? Now, when you get to your second piece, then you shape the neck on the opposite side. So that means we are going to shape our neck on the left hand side. So I'm going to move one row to the left. And then now we are going to shape our neck from this left side. 
So that's what's different from the first part. The first part, if you shape on the left, then the next part you have to shape on the right. But remember, I said you have to cast off loosely. Don't make your cast off tight. Make it loose. And then you cast off a total of 22 needles. So let me do this chop chop. So I'm done casting off the 22 needles. Next, we're going to be knitting two and then we'll transfer two as well, yeah? So I need two rows. And then I use my two needle picker. I pick the last two needles. I transfer them to the next two. Then knit two. And again, we are doing this 10 times. So that's it. And then next, we are supposed to knit 60 rows to finish off. But I'm starting those with 30 rows of white. After 30 rows of the white, we are doing 30 rows of the red. Then with the 30 rows of red, then I put my tension in 10. I need to roll. And then we can cast off. So guys, I've cast off. Where is our neck shaping? Yeah, this is our neck shaping for this second piece. You actually have to be able to find your neck shaping. <laughs> so when you look at your work, you'll see a long part and another long part here. Yeah? So in between there, which is like a small part, it's also shaped. You can see it's curved here. Yeah? That is our neck shaping for that last part. And now we have two pieces. This is the other part we made first. Now when you put them together, you see that they match, right? But if we hadn't turned sides, they wouldn't have matched. So the next part is shaping the neck and basically putting on now the, the neck part of the poncho. Um, so we are going to fix our neck shaping back to the machine for the neck part, yeah? And remember when we are fixing back work, we have to make sure that it's the pal side facing you or the wrong side of your work. So this is the right side. You can definitely see the difference. And then this is the pal side. You can just start from zero to mine goes from zero to to eight here. Yeah? I'm going to attach one from its beginning. I'll attach it to zero. Okay. And then the other part. I'm attaching to 80. Make sure your neck is not so big. There are people who do 100 by 100, but I feel like that neck would be really big. So don't make it so huge in a way that's not nice. Huh? Unless you want it that way though. Okay, so that's the first neck. Now I'm going to attach our second part. So I'll start from this zero zero i'll actually attach this needle one the one i attached on the other piece so that they really join like that yeah and then i'll take the remaining part to 80. they have to balance that's it so next we just have to fix the work on back onto the machine um, make sure that you fix on a small part, not a huge one, so that the machine is it. We have some loose ends here. Let me tie them up.
Now next we are going to knit for our neck. I'm putting my row counter back to zero for the neck. We are going to first pass through with tension 10, one row in tension 10. Um, after the one row in tension 10, I'm going to put my tension in 8. So you can do a one by one neck, you can use all needles, you can do a two by two. For me, I'm going to select a three by one, okay? I actually already made a video for you guys showing you how to achieve this three by one neck rib. So if you don't know how to do it, you can check out that video. All right. I'm going to attach it to the description box. So I'm done selecting my needles three by one. So next we're going to need 120 rows, yeah? So those are 120 rows of our neck. Now next we are going to have to join our neck so I pick my first row and attach to the first needle and then where we remove the needle you bring back those needles into working position and then one um, needle in between there yeah? so I pick the one left in and working position and then one needle in between there and then do that to the end of your work. I'm done joining on all my work. Um, next, I'm going to put my carriage in tension 10 and then knit that one row to join the work. Let me do two rows. And this is our neck. Don't forget to stretch it. Okay. So that's what our neck looks like. You can make it bigger or shorter depending on what you like. That this is how it is open. Then when I put it together the way it's supposed to be. And place it here for you guys. This is what it looks like here. Yeah? So we have this part open. So you have to join this part together, okay? Um, you can do it on your sewing machine. You can use the invisible stitch. Or you can use a sewing machine. So join that part all the way up to the neck, yeah? And then also, this other part is also open, this side, yeah? So you join that side as well. And that's our poncho, yeah? Um, you can choose to leave it like this or you can choose to add uh, fringes down, yeah?